The Mississippi kite is a small bird of prey in the family Accipitridae. Their nicknames include mosquito hawk, blue snake hawk, hovering kite, and locust eater. They are slender, fairly small raptors with long pointed wings, a tail that is fairly long and square tipped, and a small and delicate, strongly hooked bill. They are similar in size to the peregrine falcon. However, the falcon can be three times heavier. Their color pattern consists of an inky mix of gray and black that lightens to a pale gray white on the head and in the secondaries of the wings. And their wingtips and tail are solely black. Juveniles are streaky with browning chests and underwings and banded tails. Mississippi kites are excellent aerialists, spending much of their time aloft and sailing in the wind or flying with buoyant wing beats. In the air, they catch many large flying insects, including cicadas, grasshoppers, katydids, beetles, and dragonflies. After pursuing these insects by gracefully gliding, circling, and swooping, these birds often hold their prey in one foot and eat them while soaring or perched. They can also hunt by skimming low to the ground, by flying out from a perch to catch passing insects, by pursuing bats and flying birds such as swallows and swifts, and by catching insects flush from grazing animals or fire. Mississippi kites live in bottomland hardwood forests of the southeast and in tree-lined areas of the southern prairies, including windbreaks, shelter belts, parks, and urban areas. To find these birds, head to the southeast or the southern prairies of Texas and Oklahoma during the summer. Keep your eyes raised because they are most likely in the air from treetop level up. You can also listen for their call, which sounds like this. Nesting is usually in trees 20 to 35 feet above the ground. The nest itself is a rather flimsy platform of dead twigs lined with green leaves. Eggs are white and incubated by both parents for 30 days. Both parents care for the young by brooding them in cool weather, shading them at midday, and feeding them mostly insects. Nestlings preen each other, arrange nesting material together, and show very little aggression toward their siblings, which is an unusual trait for raptor chicks. At 25 to 30 days of age, they start moving from the nest to nearby tree limbs and back, and they leap into flight several days later. After rearing their chicks, they fly all the way to Central South America for the winter. A one-year-old kite will often hang around the nest of a breeding pair and may help with defending the nest, incubating the eggs, or even brooding the chicks. The pair usually accepts the help, but sometimes chases the yearling away. Also, smaller bird species, such as northern mockingbirds, blue jays, and house sparrows may nest near or on kite nests, usually coexisting peacefully with the kites. Although being open to others, Mississippi kites can be very protective of their nests. When they nest in city parks and golf courses, it can be very problematic since the kites tend to dive bomb people who come too close to their nests. Their nest might also be located next to or even contain a wasp nest, which helps protect the chicks against climbing predators. Mississippi kites in the southeast live a different life from kites in the prairie states to the west. Western birds usually nest colonially in small woodlands on the prairie, where they can be locally abundant. Eastern birds are less abundant, breed in old growth forests, and are less likely to nest in colonies. Since the 1950s, Mississippi kite populations have increased in the western part of their range thanks to recent changes in the landscape, such as shelter belts planted by farmers and ranchers. However, human interaction such as urbanization and climate change have also decreased their range in southern areas. Well, there you have it, guys. I believe this ends my quest in telling you everything you need to know about the Mississippi kite. I don't know why, but I find it really hard to say words that end with I-S-T-S or E-S-T-S, like consists, forests, and nests. So I'm really sorry if that was super noticeable. 
But as always, I hope you found yourself learning something new and having a good time in the process. If I forgot any information that you thought should be in the video, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.